Okay, we're going to look at a new relation, which is going to be the equation of a straight line. And that's very involved with a lot of the work that we've been doing already, which is to find the gradient of a straight line. Okay, the first thing to put down is this new equation, which is called the equation of a straight line. So take that down. And the equation of a straight line is y equals mx plus c. Okay, y equals mx plus c. Let's just describe a couple of things in this equation. Okay, m is the gradient. And c is something called the y-intercept, which we'll talk about in a second. Okay, so remember that the gradient is a measure of steepness. So when you talk about the gradient of a line or the gradient of a hill, that's a measure of how steep it is. Okay, let's now think about this thing called the y-intercept. If you think about the word intercept, that means cutting into something. So it's cutting into the y-axis. Okay, so if we had an x and a y-axis like that, there's the x-axis and the y-axis. And if I've got a line that cuts into the y-axis, then I would call that point the y-intercept. Okay, so the y-intercept, we're given it the letter C. Okay, now if I go back to this diagram and say that the bit that we cut into the y-axis is 5, that means the y-intercept is 5, and that means C is equal to 5. So there would be a y-intercept of 5. There's a y-intercept of 1, there's a y-intercept of minus 2, and there is a y-intercept of minus 5. So it's just wherever you cut the y-axis. Okay, so if you cut the y-axis at 5, the y-intercept is 5, c equals 5. If you cut it at 1, the y-intercept is 1, c is equal to 1. If you cut the y-axis at minus 2, c is equal to minus 2. If you cut the y-axis at minus 5, c is equal to minus 5. Okay, so the important thing here is to remember that the equation of a straight line is given by y equals mx plus c, m is a gradient, and c is where you cut the y-axis, and we call that the y-intercept. Okay, now, let's take this down. To find the equation of a straight line, We will need well, two things. We'll need the gradient. That's M. And the second thing is we'll need the y-intercept. And that is C. Okay. So let's try a first example. Let's see if we can find the equation of a straight line. Okay. So... Let's go for this example. There's the x-axis, there's the y-axis, and we're going to try and find the equation of this straight line, y equals mx plus c. And there's two things we need. We need the gradient, and then we need the y-intercept. We need m, and we need c. Okay, now the first thing that we need to do is to establish what two points are. Okay, so there's the first point there. And there's the second point. Okay. Now, the first point, I appear to only have one coordinate, but I can work out the second coordinate easily. Now, remember that when you've got an x and a y coordinate, the x coordinate is along and the y coordinate is up and down. And you'll start at the origin. So, to get from the origin to 2, we don't move along at all. So, its x coordinate would be 0. But we need to move it up to y coordinate is 2, so the point is 0, 2. Now, my next move is I want to find the gradient. So, I'm going to use that formula m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay, so let's label the coordinates x1, y1, x2, y2. And let's find the gradient m equals y2 minus y1 over 
x2 minus x1. Okay, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay, so 4, take away 2. Over x2 minus x1, 2, take away 0. Okay, 4, take away 2 is 2. 2, take away 0 is 2. 2, divide by 2 is 1. The gradient of the line is 1. Okay, what's the y-intercept? Well, the y-intercept's really easy. You just check where it cuts the y-axis. So there's the y-axis there. And where do we cut the y-axis? It's clear to see we cut it at 2. So C is equal to 2. Okay, Y equals MX plus C. Now, this is just quite simple now. Wherever I see M, I replace it with what it is. Wherever I see C, I replace it with what it is. Well, M is equal to 1 and C is equal to 2. So that's really straightforward then. Instead of M, it's 1. So that's Y equals 1X plus C is equal to 2, 1X plus 2. If you think about it, 1x is simpler at that point just to write x, so the final answer would be y equals x plus 2. But now we're going to do several of these examples to make sure that you get up to speed with it. So let's try an example 2. Okay, so example 2, let's go for this one. Okay, so there's the x-axis and there's the y-axis and let's just remind ourselves that the equation of a straight line is y equals mx plus c. Okay, now let's first of all establish the points. Well, I've got the second point there, which is 2, 6. Now, what's the first point? Well, I'm starting at the origin and then to get up to 2, I don't move along at all. So would mean that I've got an x-coordinate of 0, and as I can see, I move up to 2, so it's a y-coordinate of 2. Okay, and then from left to right, there's the first x-coordinate, x1, the first y-coordinate, y1, the second x-coordinate, x2, and the second y-coordinate, y2. Okay, m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Straight substitution, y2 minus y1. Six minus two over x two minus x one two take away zero. Okay. Six take away two is four, two take away zero is two. Four divided by two, the gradient of the line is equal to two. What's the y in the well, It's really easy. We just check where we cut the y axis, and I can see that I cut the y axis at two. That's really straightforward. C is equal to two. Okay, so m is equal to 2, c is equal to 2, dead easy, where I see m, replace it with 2, and where I see c, I replace it with 2, final answer, y equals 2x plus 2. Okay, example 3. Okay, example 3. And here's what I've got. So let's get the first point there. So starting at the origin, to get up to 3, you don't move along at all. So that's x coordinate 0, you do move up 3, y coordinate 3. Okay, label my points. x coordinate 1, y coordinate 1, x coordinate 2, y coordinate 2. Let's put the formula down. y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay, y2 minus y1, 7 minus 3 over x2 minus x1, 2 minus 0. Okay, 7 minus 3 is 4, 2 minus 0 is 2, 4 divided by 2, and the gradient is 2. What's the y-intercept? That's really easy, that's just where I cut the y-axis, dead clear, c is equal to 3. Equation of a straight line, y equals mx plus c, m is 
2, C is 3, Y equals 2X plus 3, final answer. Okay, example 4. Okay, this is the situation this time. Okay, so first coordinate, or first point rather. Okay, first point is here. So to get from the origin to travel up to 1, you don't need to travel along. So x coordinate is 0, I need to travel up 1, y coordinate 1. Okay, x1, y1, x2, y2. M equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay, y2 minus y1, 10 minus 1 over x2 minus x1, 3 minus 0. Okay, 10 minus 1 is 9, 3 minus 0 is 3, 9 divided by 3, the gradient is 3, with the y intercept, very straightforward, it's right there, c is equal to 1. Okay, so y equals mx plus c, now the gradient is 3, the y intercept is 1, substitute them straight in, 3x plus 1, final answer, y equals 3x plus 1. Okay, example 5. Okay, let's bring in a y-intercept which is negative this time and it cuts at minus 3 and that's the point 3, 3. There's the x-axis and there's the y-axis. Okay, so the first point, well, to get from the origin down to minus 3, well, I don't travel along at all, x coordinate is 0. I do travel down 3, y coordinate is minus 3, x1, y1, x2, y2. Okay, m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, 3 minus minus 3, and it's not 3 minus 3, it's 3 minus minus 3 over x2 minus x1, 3 minus 0. Okay, remember two negatives beside each other will become positive, so 3 minus minus 3, that's 3 plus 3, over 3 minus 0, which is 3, 3 plus 3 is 6, 6 over 3, 6 divided by 3, the gradient is 2. What's the y-intercept? We can see that clearly the y-intercept C is minus 3. So when I see C, I can replace it with minus 3. Okay, M equals 2, C equals minus 3. Equation of a straight line, Y equals MX plus C. Y equals 2X plus minus 3. Okay, now the plus minus 3 is a bit fussy, we don't really need that. If you're adding on minus 3, we can just write that as minus 3. Final answer, y equals 2x minus 3. Okay, let's try an example 6. Okay, so we're cutting the y-axis at minus 2 this time. And there is the point 2, 2. Okay, so to get from the origin down to minus 2, I don't travel along at all. It's coordinate 0, but I do travel to downwards, minus 2. Okay, so x1, y1, x2, y2. m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So straight substitution. y2 is 2, so it's 2. Minus, minus 2, over x2 minus x1, 2, minus 0. Okay, 2 negatives make a positive, so that's 2 plus 2, over 2 minus 0 is 2, 2 plus 2 is 4, 4 divided by 2, final answer for the gradient, that's 2. What's the y-intercept? Dead clear right in front of me, the y-intercept C is minus 2. Okay, y equals mx plus c. Okay, 
Okay, the gradient is 2, 2x plus c, which is minus 3, so minus 2 rather, 2x plus minus 2, again, plus minus 2 is a bit fussy, just make that minus, final answer, y equals 2x minus 2. Okay, let's try a final example. Okay, this time let's go for this situation. Okay, so first point, well, I'm travelling from the origin down to minus 2, so that's 0 along and 2 down, 0 minus 2. Let's label the coordinates. Okay, so 0 is x1, that's the first x coordinate, first y coordinate is minus 2, second x coordinate is 3, and second y coordinate is 5. n equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay, so it's y2 minus y1, 5 minus minus 2, over x2 minus x1, 3 minus 0. Okay, two negatives beside each other become a positive, so that's 5 plus 2 over 3, take away 0 is 3. 5 plus 2 is 7, 7 over 3. Well, I can't simplify that, and I don't get a whole number, so that's fine, just leave it as m equals 7 thirds. You don't always get a whole number answer, and you shouldn't expect that you would. Okay, we're going to cut the y-axis, c, c is minus 2. Okay. Y equals mx plus c. Okay, so the gradient m is 7 thirds, so 7 thirds x, and c is minus 2. Final answer, y equals 7 thirds x minus 2.